Hi everybody, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be talking about dilations and scale factor. Remember that you can pause and rewind if at any point this goes too fast. So jumping right in, dilations is a transformation that either enlarges or reduces the size of an original figure. So this transformation is all about changing the size. In order to dilate a figure, we have to multiply by the scale factor. So if you remember back to seventh grade math, you may vaguely remember what scale factor is, but some of us could be saying, whoa, 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 scale factor. Don't fret. Scale factor is a ratio of the corresponding sides in a figure. So because it's a ratio, we can set that up like a fraction. And when we write it, we write it as new over original or image over pre-image. So we're going to go into some examples in a minute that actually show how that works. But before we do that, there's this important thing that I want us to remember as we work. If your scale factor is greater than one, it will enlarge the figure. And if the scale factor is less than one, it will reduce the figure. So as we go into these examples, I'm going to have us look at the scale factor first and make a determination if it's going to get bigger or smaller. So jumping in, the scale factor is 2 over 5, 2 fifths. So let's think, is 2 fifths less than 1 or more than 1? Well, 2 fifths is a fraction. So we know that, that is less than one. So our image should be getting smaller. So looking at our shape right here, we have a rectangle that's 15 inches by 35 inches. We want to reduce this by two fifths. We do this by multiplying each side by our scale factor. So we're going to start with 15 and multiply that by two fifths, and it should give us six. So we've done one side, but we're not done yet. We still have to do the other side. So we're gonna do 35 times two fifths, and that's gonna equal 14. So the dimensions of our new rectangle, our smaller rectangle, are going to be six inches by 14 inches. Moving on to example number two, we have a scale factor of 3.5. So remember that first thing we're gonna do is look at that scale factor. Is 3.5 less than one or more than one? Well, 3.5 is more than one. So that tells us our shape is going to get bigger. So looking at our rectangle, it is 10 inches by 22 inches. We have to multiply each of those sides by 3.5. So we're going to do 10 times 3.5, and that's going to give us 35. We're then going to do 22 times 3.5, and that's going to give us 77. So the dimensions of our new bigger rectangle are going to be 35 inches, by 77 inches. So now we're gonna work backwards. They want us to find the scale factor that was used to create this dilation. So if we look at our triangles, remember our original triangle is the triangle without the primes. The prime still sets our new image. So we are going from the smaller triangle to the bigger triangle. So making a prediction, do you think our scale factor is going to be less than one or more than one? If you're not sure, refer to those previous two examples we just did. So our scale factor is gonna be bigger than one because our shape is getting bigger. So remember, in order to find scale factor, it is new over original. So we're going to take one of our sides of our new triangle 
I'm going to choose 15. And because we want to match that to our smaller triangle, it's going to be the number on the bottom, which in this case is 12. So 15 divided by 12 is going to give us 1.25. And we said that our scale factor had to be bigger than 1, and 1.25 is. So we can make an estimate that we are correct. We have some final thoughts now that we've gone over scale factor. So a dilation is a transformation that makes shapes bigger or smaller. It's all about changing the size. To dilate a shape, we have to multiply by the scale factor. In order to get scale factor, we have to divide new over original or image over pre-image. If our scale factor is greater than one, our shape is gonna get bigger. And if our scale factor is less than one, our shape is gonna get smaller.